Hey, it's Cooley if you don't know, and it is time for some more of the long run and where we are playing Lunar Silver Star Harmony. And I am pressing the wrong buttons. Tomorrow is officially a work day, but it's a quiet, it's a be quiet and don't break anything. I don't get it. You do you, I guess. Uh, so yeah, last time we um, we joined the Thieves Guild and opened a bunch of red chests in the world. Um, are we in the correct place? Let me just leave and make sure this is the correct town to be in. Oh, this is Reza. We need to go to Elok. Also, we need to see what locations do we have. We have Marriott Forest, Inspire, Alpine Spring, Elok, Menza Pass, and Reza. Alright. Anyway, Elok is where we need to be. Because we gotta get us an airship. And uh, we most certainly will not be talking to a man named Sid. No such man exists in this game. A gathering of geeks and oddballs possessed with the idea. Well, I fit in with the geeks and oddballs at the very least. Hey, your is your brother James Cameron? Washing machine bill started out as an indoor jacuzzi. That's a strange direction for your jacuzzi to go. Uh, no new equipment. I think I'm good on items right now. So for the moment, let's just get our bearings in this new place and go bother everyone. And I think this is the dude we needed to talk to in the first place. What's this? My blueprints! Wow! I was about to give up on ever seeing them again. They were stolen from, from you by the Thieves Guild of Reza, but we got them back. Thank you very much, but why would thieves be interested in the blueprints for a balloon? Oh well, I'll never be able to understand the criminal mind. My name is Sheer, and I'm an inventor. I recently moved here so I could focus on my work. I wish I had something to give you as thanks, but we inventors tend to live hand to mouth. Sorry about that. Well, we needed to get over the mountain so we could uh, find the Red Dragon Cave. I see. Well, now that I have my blueprints back, I can build you a balloon to fly there. But to make it fly, I need a fluffy bug. And the one I had, uh, the one I had escaped into the field behind the town. No problem. We'll catch the bug while you build the balloon. Wonderful. I'll get started on it right away. Don't forget to ask the botanist for permission to enter the field. And yeah, passengers would be a uh, good thing to accommodate in your uh, in your flying balloon. See if I can find anything of interest here. Why is there in a staircase there? Well, I guess when once the balloon is built, we probably like board it up here or something. Doesn't seem like this game style to just have a staircase at least to literally nowhere. Huh. 
hot girl news. Yeah, Mia Alisa definitely has left Vayne. She's she's right over there. Maybe we should just um, quietly leave. Laboratory downstairs, gotcha. I mean, if you're trying to get to the bottom of the sea, I think you'll need more than an hour. Zero, thank you for the resub. Are you ready for some Linux? Uh, this stream is not happening on Linux. I forgot to change the um, the go live message, so sorry about that, I guess. But um, the Super Shuffle I streamed from Linux, and it seemed to uh, to go pretty well. So hopefully, I'll be able to have uh, more future streams from Linux. Just is gonna take some uh, some setting up. Oh dear. Oh no. Oh no. What have I done? I'm sorry. You broke it. Go to your room. I believe that there's a line in the uninvited that's basically something to that effect. I think you broke it. Go to your room. Oh, you want to catch fluffy bugs? That's fine, I mean, children. I like to encourage interest in entomology. But you should be aware that we have puffy bugs out there, too. And, and even I can't tell them apart. So how are we gonna tell them apart, Alex? Let's go into the field and explore first. We'll solve the identity crisis later. I'll open the entrance for you and you can go into the field anytime. Just make sure you close the gate behind you. We don't want any bugs getting out of there. Duly noted. Any other switches I can flip over here to wreak havoc upon your inventions? Doesn't look like it. I mean, I think we've done enough anyway. That's a big pumpkin. An army of chefs. <laughs> and everyone, uh... Got something to say about this pumpkin. Or pumpkin related things. Uh, did I talk to you? Oh, look, my brother blew up the house again. The entire moved in flat, like, like last pant time. Oh boy, it's pant time! Time to wear pants! Gotta wear the pants in this... botany field. Let's see how we fare against these guys. Oh jeez, they're they're pretty spongy. How hard do they hit though? Mm, that was that was a crit though. Alright, I think I'll authorize the use of MP for this because uh this seems kinda rough.
You'd rather take your pants off. Oh look, puffy bugs. I wonder if these are the puffy bugs that we need to find. I'm gonna take a guess and probably no. Oh good. These guys inflict sleep. They also have a hell of a range. Basically harassing my party from like the other side of the screen. Also, everyone getting crits on Alex. Like, what the hell? Nice clean hit on literally everyone. Nice clean hit on the literally... Oh, two you. That's okay. For, for a second there, I thought that was only going to hit one. Maybe if y'all attack the same the same enemy, they would go down faster. Ow. 58, jeez. Like I almost feel under-equipped for this, but like I don't know where I would have gotten any better equipment than what I currently have. Alright, Nash. Wakey wakey. Alex levels up. Uh, everyone's HP seems fine at the moment. We don't get stung! Evil image. Some of these names, man. Ooh, nice crit from Kyle. Killer Sting. You know, I have other other party members than friggin' Mia. right in the vicinity of Nash's staff. A couple of healing fruits. That was good to have. We'll get another healing ring. Um, do I have any room for that? As it turns out, no. Yeah, I could always give it to Nash here so he doesn't have his silly bromide. Eh, I think I'm good for now. I don't. It doesn't look like there's anything else here. Other than this fight that I walked into for no reason.
Way to hit one dude there, Kyle. That loosened, uh, that loosened everyone up sufficiently. And of course, if Mia's just gonna cast a blizzard anyway. I did do a whole lot of damage, but that did take out uh, one enemy at least. Well, Jessica could have uh, done a little better there and maybe uh, thrown a heal in uh, Mia's direction. Wakey wakey, Alex. Jessica levels up and her range increases. Kyle levels up. Was it raining before? I don't think it was raining before. Well, if nothing else, this is uh, some pretty decent experience here. Well, I'm hoping Mia wasn't planning on, you know, letting loose with some good magic, because she ain't anymore. Unless this guy decides to attack, but, you know, an additional sleep pollen isn't going to do anything. Put her to super sleep. Mega nap. I mean, that doesn't seem like an improvement. They just gotta put my entire party to sleep? Like, what the hell? You could be doing that more often. That's probably less expensive than uh, the other thing that you're doing. There we go. That time's over. Let's go. He levels up. I am surprised I didn't end up in that fight. Anything over there? It doesn't look like it. Let's just go up here. Spirit hairpin. 
Uh, whose is that? Uh, looks like that is exclusive. Uh, that is exclusive to me. Four defense and two wisdom. I don't know if you all know this, but these guys are kind of annoying. <laughs> give you one good reason why? I mean, I could give you one good reason why, but like, it, I think you sleep! I was trying to make you sleep, not melt down to your hair. Listen, Jewel, they're they're not so innocent if they keep trying to kill me all the time. Also, Jewel. Not trespassing, I was let in by the botanist. Real impressive there, Kyle. Go to sleep. There we go. Sleeping on the job again, Kyle? I really gotta stop opening with uh, with full auto because like Kyle keeps doing that and taking out one unit when he could be taking out at least two. Keep doing auto. Really? 
Okay, that's a one unit attack. That's fine. You can do those. The fact that you didn't kill anything with it is questionable. And then Jessica uses a starlight on her boyfriend. Those things are expensive, you know. See, now is a good time for Sonic Riser. There we go. Now go to sleep. Or not, you know. It's up to you, I guess. And Nash levels up and learns Electro Shower. Boing, boing, boing. Feel like I'm in a Sonic video game. Crystal Bangle. Just immediately using Electro Shower. And giving everyone a friggin' seizure. What the hell was that? Alright, I guess I gotta be ready on the uh, on the low contrast filter button. Three healing fruits. Can't really complain for uh, for getting uh, restoratives for these fights. Um, right. Something bangle. There it is. Crystal bangle, which is equipment for Nash only. Uh, two defense. You enter a room of twisty fields, all alike. Okay, yes, you can do Riot. I mean, even that's kind of flashy. But it's not nearly as bad as your other thing. Wham! That's the girl, Jess. chests here.
Yeah, I didn't realize how flashy some of these attacks were. I know that Nash's super is uh, is very flashy as well, and I was ready for that one, but I wasn't ready for Electro Shower, and here it comes again. See, that's, that's not nearly as bad. I, I feel like Mia, Mia knows how to, um, how to cast magic that is not going to literally kill a person while still, you know, killing the enemy. Okay, I guess I, I guess I used the wrong words that time. It kills enemies, not eyes. But I think that's a way back. And Three thousand monies. Okay, I think there's supposed to be something that happens here. And we'll look up for the pink bug. So apparently that's what uh, that's what we were missing here. There was a pink bug floating around and I think that's it. Sorry, I was looking at the guide. Why what, Jewel? I don't do any editing on my videos, I'm sorry. I might consider you know, making more of an effort if this was like an actual job. Like it may be my only source of income right now, but it's not exactly much. Is that going to make the thing go? I'm guessing the rain is kind of an, an indication. Okay, let me read this entire thing. You only look out for pink bug. Find it every time you see it. Okay, so this is not the pink fluffy bug that I'm looking for.
the one that I'm looking for apparently runs away. Alright, I think I'm going to use um, the escape litany and uh, go back to the start of this, uh, of this uh, side area, I guess. It's called Killer Sting, but they just tackle. I mean, the Killer Sting does have a chance to inflict poison damage. So the status effects in this game are, are never guaranteed. The Sting is at the butt. Alex levels up and his range increases. All right, let's uh, let's go back to start here. I'm going to follow the uh, the instructions as provided. And the first instruction that I had that I will follow is high grade apparently. And also stretch. Uh. Oh, now you want the chair to creak. I'm creaking too. Uh. Oh my goodness. It's proof you did stretch. I mean, as far as you as far as you know, I might just be making the noises and not stretching. I assure you that I am stretching, but is that assurance enough? And no, I'm not turning on the camera. Um, okay. Let's uh, let's save for good measure. Let's try this again. So walk north a few steps and exit to the east. There's a chest to the northeast containing a healing ring returned to the previous area. So that's this here. We've already got the thing returned to the previous area. Oh, there we go. Yeah, this one's different. And yes, it is scripted to immediately run away with a 100% chance. Go. So. They don't really seem intent on doing very much damage, honestly. Like, they, they seem to have like an 80 to 90% chance of just doing sleep pollen.
Okay. So that was the first one. It runs away. And I immediately face plant into this pack of evil images. That's not a very quiet riot. It's very loud and noisy. How, how do you expect to be rocking the suburbs with that kind of noise? Jessica levels up. And Kyle. Alright. Um, hang on. Back the fluffy bug to the west. Now these are puffy bugs. Actually caught it this time. Nash, I'm gonna attack everyone. Alex, I'm gonna attack everyone. Kyle, fuck this guy in particular. Flame Blast. Just getting all of the accolades in this fight. And some of the acclaims. And also, that was pretty epic. And, uh... Fourth video game company related pun inserted here. Okay, um... Mm -hmm. Was it this one? No? That is also incorrect. The guide says attack the fluffy the fluffy bug to the west. Thank you. Unless you want me to move to the next screen to the west. In which case, like, 
He might want to specify that particularly. Okay, let's go to the next screen to the west. See if we can get by these guys. Yeah, okay, that one's different. Oh, that was pretty rad. I mean, that wasn't particularly effective because, you know, that only attacks one dude. Starting another riot, I see. Why is this called riot, by the way? I don't understand. This does not seem like an appropriate name for your attack. Yeah, and that one's different too, like when you touch it. Rather than um like when you when you touch a regular enemy, it just kind of it pauses for like a quarter of a second. But when you touch the fluffy bug, it just immediately starts the uh the battle animation. But I'm wondering if it's being handled as an NPC rather than an enemy, per se. The two magic casters are uh, a little impaired right now. Fortunately, Jessica cannot be uh, put to sleep because of one of the equipment pieces that she has. I'm pretty sure you could have just whacked it with your stick and it would have been fine. No? That's not enough, huh? Alright. Well, we are almost done here. Shows up and his range increases. I was hoping to get away from that, but uh, unfortunately, not the case. Really? That was out of range? 
I'll go to sleep then. That is your punishment. Go to bed. Meanwhile, Jessica states, sleep is for the weak. Like my stupid boyfriend. And then immediately, immediately regrets her words when Mia is put to sleep. Just keep doing that on Jessica all day, that's perfectly fine. Wham! Okay. Mm, this is Red Springs. On that south. No. Dang it. Getting into a lot of fights here. It's a little exhausting. I would like to, I would like the video not to be just this area and nothing else because holy crap. Thank you. Before Nash blinds us all. Yet another fight done. Bank account, yeah, looking pretty good. Forty-seven thousand. We still need the uh, the sixty thousand for the friggin' reminiscer. On top of whatever money we're gonna need for any other equipment that that we might actually need in combat. I think there is a good place to grind money in the Trial Cavern in Vale. I seem to recall there's an enemy there that drops like 2,000 silver every time. Thank you. Is that something that, that, that I would need to, uh, to grind off screen? By you? Nope. Pretty sure your range isn't that bad there, Kyle. Go to bed. Or I guess not. Or maybe so? 
Man, not EP at all. And Mia, of course, being the real hero here. Neither of these is it. Alex and Nash could really do with a level up right about now. Get their uh, their MP back. So the last fluffy bug location should be here. Yeah, right, right there. Okay. Nash using a starlight on himself. I have to remember to get more of those. I don't I'm not sure exactly where you can buy them. I guess while that's happening I can probably look it up. Where can you buy you can buy them in Arabia, in Vale. In Arabia and Reza. And in in this location that we haven't been to. There's a couple of places we can get them. So I guess probably the, the best thing once we're done here is to go back to Resin and get some more. Okay, so now we've encountered the fluffy bug three times. So now once we go to that uh, that back room at the end, uh, it should be cornered there. And finally, Jessica remembers that she's a healer. <laughs> That's a level up for Alex.
That was quick. That's a level up for Kyle. We're almost back to the end. I just need to not use that spring up there. Can't imagine I have that many starlights left. Ooh, nice Chris. I was kind of hoping for for some spells from uh, from Mia there, but uh, I guess not. I would appreciate if you didn't put my entire party to sleep. What did I just say, bitch? That's two of them down. Yeah, keep trying to put her to sleep. You're not going to succeed at that. I can guarantee you. Okay, we're, we're almost done here, finally. Jessica levels up and learns Divine Litany, which I think is a heal everyone. Oh, it's, uh, it's a regen. All right. Yep. Almost got screwed by the geometry there, but, uh, there we go. Let's deal with you, finally. You have nowhere to run, you jerk. Uh, okay, well. Maybe, maybe it has nowhere to run, but it sure is gonna try. He sure showed you. I got told. Honestly, though, like, Kyle doesn't look like he's sleeping. He looks like he's, like, Heaving or something. Uh, he is he is not having the best time. Mia levels up. Oh no, it got away! Don't worry now. I know how to ha I know how to handle feisty little things. Come here, critter. You've got it cornered. 
By the way, Kyle, what was that remark about knowing how to handle feisty things? <laughs> Just, I don't know what that word means. Uh huh. Remind, remind me to define it to uh, for you the next time you try to put the moves on me. Not that I'm admitting to being feisty or anything. I mean... Do we really gotta say it? Really? One thing that I will say to Jessica is get us out of here. So before we do the thing, let's um oops. I'm gonna go and use the dragon wings. And uh, go back to Reza so we can get some more uh starlights. Cause uh we kinda use a lot of them. Okay, so where in Reza was it? Looks like it was in the Thieves Guild Bazaar. That is not where that is. Gotta go to the bar. Go through a few rooms that are basically just there for flavor, I guess. I guess they figured that no one would even bother to come back here. Now you've got equipment. That's not what I'm looking for. Oh! Weapon upgrades that I missed, hello! I didn't buy one for you specifically, but let's see if no. You're still just a bastard, got it. I still have six of them. Oh. Let's round that up to ten. Alright, we'll get the dragon wings out again and uh, let's go back to Eluk. That's what someone feisty would say. Okay, so we have your, we have your freaking fluffy bug. You brought the fluffy bug, and just in time, the balloon is complete. If you would be so kind. The fluffy bug has been installed. But according to my calculations, the, the balloon won't be completely inflated until tomorrow morning. Why don't you spend the night here? It's not exactly luxurious, but at least it's free. Don't worry, bud. Compared to some of the places I've slept, your house is like a luxury suite. Uh, I think we could all use some rest. 
Cheer, we'd, we'd be glad to stay here tonight. Oh, that was spooky. Um, oh, Lana, is breakfast ready? Luna, didn't you hear me? No. Hold on, Luna. I will come for you. The first breakfast. Good morning, everyone. The balloon is almost inflated. With this baby at your disposal, you'll be able to hit up both the volcano and the frontier with ease. That's odd. This should have easily inflated overnight. I don't know what went wrong. But this will never be able to get off the ground. My faith in science has been shaken. Oh no. Not science. Oh. How's that for science? Whoa! For a minute there, I thought I was going to have a heart attack. Well, it looks like my idea was a success after all. This will definitely get you where you need to go. Uh, not quite. I want to save first. Wait, you don't know how, how much longer it's going to stay inflated? I don't know if this is such a good idea, guys. Oh, I put in the wrong option. All aboard, everyone! Plenty of room for five people and one animal! I hope the red dragon isn't too intimidated by my good looks. This doesn't look very different. Uh, this doesn't look very different from steering a ship, so I'll take the controls. I'm not sure how I feel about flying without the use of magic, but don't you think this will be great fun, Nash? It sure, Mia, yeah, if you say so. Okay, here we go. Yo! <laughs> Never thought the darn contraption would fly to begin with. Now that's what I call a success. Why is that success in quotations, sir? I am deeply concerned. Well, that seems to have worked out at the very least. It's always great to be landing right in the middle of a freaking volcano. Hopefully this isn't an active volcano. It's not hot at all inside this volcano, Alex. What's going on? Maybe the volcanic activity is an illusion of magic. But what, what a powerful illusion. It's the power of the red dragon, of course. All Athena's guardians are only slightly less powerful than the goddess herself. But yeah, these steam vents will hurt if you're standing on top of them when they go off. Blob slime. It's not a slime blob, it's a blob slime. It's legally distinct. OC, do not steal. Oh. I want to turn off the, uh, 
the LCF once uh, the flashing stops. Also, it doesn't look like fire magic is going to be particularly useful here in the volcano. Oh, that crack also hurts. There's a lot going on here. I don't really like it. Oh. Is that slime squared? I know you like your new spell, Mia, but maybe this is not the place to be using that. Now ice spells. Yeah. And even better, that did 420 damage. I mean, maybe, maybe it was a mistranslation, I don't know. Ooh. We're getting starlights as enemy drops. Ow. Oh, that's a lot of dudes. That is like six dudes. That is officially one lot. Yeah, I think you could have gotten the same effect with Explosive Stab, but that's just me talking. Again with the Flame Blast. Mia, please. You can be a superstar. And be a big rock star. Living Hilltop Houses, driving 15 cars. Um, I, my only options are either full auto or, um, a specific move. Like, I can't, I can't tell Mia to not use fire magic specifically. Two starlights. Wow, I guess I didn't even need to buy any starlights. Holy crap, Nash levels up.
Yeah, these are some really narrow pathways. It's hard to get around. Also, considering that we're getting so many, uh... We're getting so many starlights here. We may as well just, uh, allow everyone to be unleashed. Skills of Symphony is nice about that. Turn off all skills, but in indignation. Oh, jeez. Ah, silly genus, being all indignant. Also, holy crap, what? I wasn't looking there, and I just noticed that, um, Alex is slightly dead. Just slightly. See, he's fine. Well, maybe if this game had come out after Tales of Symphonia. I don't think it did. Because Tales of Symphonia was GameCube, and uh, this came out originally on the PlayStation, which was at the same time as the N64. Um, let's get some healing magic here. Another starlight, okay. Really? Usually they give, like, at least just enough room to, to get around. Yeah, I don't know if all of the Tales of games are, uh, are on Steam, but a lot of them are. Might be one missing. Oh, I should not have done that actually, because there's only the one dude left. Oh, not like it really mattered. No further MP was spent. What's in here? Another starlight. Starlight, star bright, first star I see tonight. Starlight. Friggin' frig frig. You could aim that a little better, you know? Get three dudes instead of two. Of course, I could also do a little better and, uh, yeah, manual every fight, but, uh, if I can not have to. Um, you know, spend an extra five minutes on every fight. Just setting manual attacks and all that. 
That would be preferable. Three starlights, wow. Yeah, I prefer not to use uh, fast forward buttons. Yeah, I think I think you can safely use a starlight there, Kyle. But we're just getting them hand over fists in this dungeon. Thank you. Yes, ice. Ice is what you need to be doing. There you go. That's how you'd be a superstar. And another starlight. Okay. It's like they expect us to use copious amounts of magic in this dungeon. I gotta say, I, I, I've probably said this before, but I gotta say it again. Jessica is like the most kick ass healer. Get out of the way. I want that box. Stop camping the box. Those more starlights. And the barrier ring. What does that do? Magic defense and defense up by a lot, actually. Hmm. I kind of would like to use it on Jessica, but like her fresh ring and healing ring seem a lot more important and pertinent so that she stays alive as long as possible. But of course, being defensive would keep her alive pretty well too. You know what? Be defensive. Defense, clap, clap, defense. Oh boy, everything respawned. Another reason that I don't want to fast forward is because of those 
flashy friggin' attacks. They'll be even flashier. Which, uh... Seems very unnecessary. I guess I, I guess this is one of those cases where I should probably fall back to the uh but basically invoke the, the streamer fallback of so how is everyone doing today? We uh use the ice magic. He's tired, but no bad EP. Wow. Ken, thank you for the follow. How you doing? Alex levels up. Oh, great. Back attack. Use holy. How use holy? Hang on, let me get my calculator. <laughs> and I already call tired be something else. Also, I forgot the low contrast filter because you guys are amusing me now. Tired of driving. Hopefully you don't mean me because you just got here. Now, if you mean if you mean uh, zero or J-pop, I'm fine with that. I'm not, I'm not gonna get on y'all's turf. Maybe three starlights. Ooh, it just levels up and gets a second attack. Kai levels up. Um, let's go ahead and use another Starlight or three or four. And we're getting a million of them in this uh, dungeon, so I'll see you Friday, boy. Damn, a real loser and Jay sucks for life. Y'all getting told.
Yes, that is correct, Mia. Use the ice magic against the fire enemies. That is a that is a correct thing to do. Oh no. It, you can't you can't be slacking on your report card. I mean look at Mia, she's leveling up all the time. Especially right now. Wonder what's in this box. Surely it's not another starlight. Mia, please. You're killing me, Smalls. Level up your report card or you'll never be a Dragon Master. Well, have a good workout, J-Pop. You are more than welcome to work. I can't believe how many killing blows Nash is getting with his damn bow. Two thousand monies. That looks like a way forward, honestly. Maybe it's not. What is the way forward? Ah. I mean, I don't know about being old to, to be a Dragon Master. I mean, Alex is 17. Wait, Zero, when did you get lightning breath? I was not made aware of this predicament. Please keep your lightning breath away from my electronics. About two years ago. Keeping secrets? What is this? And cast it once per long rest? Wait, what's a long rest? How long is this rest? Is it long enough for Nash to level up? <laughs> Walked right into that. Well, that was fun. Another starlight! Eight hours or so? That doesn't seem that long. That seems like a regular length rest. Ooh, another angel ring. You who seek to test your metal in the dragon trial, heed my words. Are you the red dragon? 
If you wish to claim my power, your bravery must be demonstrated for all to witness. Move forward without fear, and I shall embrace you with the warmth, uh, within the warmth of my presence. This is a trial? And that gave us a full heal. Oh, well, it seems we've uh, finally come upon the uh, the trial of the red dragon. So we're going to be starting on that after the break. So y'all can take a moment, uh, get some to drink, go to the bathroom if you need to, stretch your arms, stretch your legs, stretch your teeth, and in about 10 to 15 minutes, which is the length of a short rest, um, we shall take on this uh, this trial and be halfway to becoming the next Dragon Master. So I'll see you in a bit.